Hi everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint the arm pegs on a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Now over recent years uh, Marvel Legends hasn't been painting the arm pegs as you can see right here on the Marvel Legends Spider-Man. And this is the Raft Spider-Man that was part of the SDC exclusive this past year. And it's a great figure. It's one of the best figures I think we have out there. It's really reminiscent of the McFarlane Spider-Man. And the only problem is that it doesn't have any of the uh, arms that you can change out. It's just the way it is. But I don't like the fact that it comes with the pegs unpainted, as you can see here. So I'm just going to show you a method on how to paint those pegs to be similar to the color of its the rest of its um, arm so that it can at least match up. Uh, I do want to warn you though, by doing this you do in some way uh, lower the value of the figure because it's not original anymore, it is custom painted. So this is just for anybody who's interested in doing that and they're you know wanting to have a figure that looks really awesome on their display and not have these pegs stick out. So uh, let's get started. Now the first thing that we're going to need is some primer. Now the primer that I'm going to be using is right here Model Masters Gray Primer. I hope you can read that. It's the kind I always use for most of my uh, uh, custom figures. This is an acrylic paint so it'll dry off within a couple of like uh, 10 minutes or 15 minutes. It'll have a good ad adhesion and dryness. And uh, you can actually find these anywhere at, at a hobby shop and so we're going to be using this on the peg of the spider-man because this is such a hard plastic any paint that's placed on it will not adhere very well unless of course you have a primer on it so let's start by doing that I put a little bit of primer and then start painting on there You can see it's starting to adhere pretty well. Do that on here. Apologize if this is hard to paint with the camera on, but I hope uh, you guys can see it as well as I can. All right, that's one side. Let's work on the other side. Don't worry too much if it's going to paint on the blue areas because the paint we're going to be using is going to cover that up too anyway, so it's not a big deal. And I did forget to mention though as I'm doing this is make sure you wash your figure thoroughly to get rid of any oils that might have been from the ejection mold. So you just want to make sure you get that stuff out of the way. Alright, so we have primed it, we just gotta let it dry and we'll go on to the next step. Alright, I've already allowed the primer to dry off for a couple of minutes, probably 10-15 minutes. So it should be dry enough for us to paint the other layer that's going to be on top of it cover to match the arms and the rest of the suit. Now the color that I'm going to be using is Model Masters Acrylic Insignia Blue. It's number 4742. Uh, all this information in terms of paints and primer I will put in the description below later on. I just wanted to show you how it looks and what it comes in. It's about like half an ounce. So let's work on that. Let's start painting that on. This color is actually the closest I could find to be part of the suit. Might be a little bit bluer, but it's when you start putting more layers on top of it, it gets darker. There's one peg. Let's go to the second peg. Try and get in there. Let that first little layer dry off. And let's go on this end. side and uh, here's an interesting tip for you guys to know that 
I never knew until uh, after a couple, like about two years of hit or hit and miss with paints. Whenever you're working with anything that's hard plastic, you will definitely need a primer. Hard plastics are usually the middle parts, like this part is hard plastic, this is hard plastic. But when you work on arms, which are like much more softer plastics, and the head and some of the leg areas, you start to realize that you don't really need the primer because as soon as you put this Model Master paint, it would adhere to it. But you do need to give it 24 hours to adhere completely, and then you don't really need to use the primer, so it saves you on layers of paint. Now, of course, that's my experience, whether or not it, it's true for anybody else, you know, it's up to you guys if you want to try it. As you can see, it's starting to look a little bit more darker, which is perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. It's, once it's wet, it's a little bit hard to match up, but once it dries off, it'll look darker. And, uh, yeah. That's starting to look really great. Look at that. You can't even tell from a distance. You can't tell that it's uh, the pegs are there. The other side are red. The on this inside are blue. So I think I'm done with this. I'm going to look more closely into it to see if I'm missing these spots. And then I'm going to let it dry and we'll see the end result. So here's the end result so far. The paint has already dried in some way. So now as you can see on the arms it's dried up and so it's darkened up it's not a exact match I'm, I'm not sure if the camera's picking up on that but it looks good enough to me to a point where it's better off than being red as you can see I think you can see it more on this end the paints don't match exactly but it's still better than what it was before and I'm really happy with it you know the only thing now I have to do is wait 24 hours for it to completely dry and adhere to the plastic and once I'm done with that, because the actual suit of the blue area looks a little bit more matted, I'm going to end up putting some matte varnish on it. It's the same way I just brush it on lightly and give it another 24 hours and it'll be completely dry. So in essence, it'll be like 48 hours when it's completely completed and dried up. But I'm patient enough to let it dry off. And then once I'm done, I'm going to have a great looking uh, McFarland Spider-Man from the raft. This is the uh, same methods that I'm showing you right now. It's the same methods that I used for uh, my pizza spidey, which is right over here. You will see that it's also been painted. And the color that I used for that we was the model color acrylic from our Vallejo. Medium blue. The number is right there. I will also put this on the description below so that you guys can look for this paint or if you have these paints it would help you. So as you can see my Pizza Spidey looks pretty darn good. And the difference between the the coating on this one though is that I ended up using a semi-gloss because the entire figure was is kind of like shinyish. So I wanted to make sure it matches and not use any matte uh, coating on it or matte varnish or anything like that. So it's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. And just so you guys know also, this is the, of course, the Civil War Spider-Man. And the same paint that I used for this figure, the uh, the Raft Spider-Man, is the same paint that I used on this. So as you can see, hopefully, I painted the same color using that and it looks way, way better. And on here, I actually painted, uh, not using primer, I just straight off painted on inside this uh, arm peg area so that it matches with the suit because otherwise this is all red but I painted it halfway up here on the bicep so I'm not bicep or I think that's what it's called um, so it matches and makes it look better so yeah this is my collection so far of my repainted repurposed spider-man figures so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it helps anybody who wants to get into uh, custom painting on some figures not over like too much of it but at least enough to makes it look nicer um, I will be making hopefully more videos on other customizations but I wanted to do this one because it was very simple and I really really love this spider-man and the one all these spider-mans that are coming out are amazing so uh, thank you for joining me. Please subscribe, like, uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think or any uh, questions you might have I can answer. 
Uh, other than that, thank you and have a great day.